I saw Josh and Tamiko at the airport. Oh? How are you? Oh, great, great. She's pregnant, you know. He's doing a piece for holiday. Good. Josh is funny. He's, he's making up all kinds of jokes about trying to find a name for a Jewish-Japanese kid. I'm sorry, Liz. Is that a sensitive area? That's right, Eddie. I have been thinking, Liz. Oh, don't. No, no, really. I've been toting up the score. Four years of marriage. Not even a cat. Eddie, I'm flattered you seem to think you want me back, but I won't kid myself that anything's really going to change. I not give much credit, honey. No, well, you're young, you're attractive, you're constantly around beautiful women. Hey, whoa, slow down, sweetheart. I thought you left because I wasn't all fired up over the idea of starting a family. Now you tell me it's because I'm lined up with other broads? Aren't you? <laughs> oh, God. Eddie, we never should have married. We just should have had a long, blissful love affair and then quit while the memories were good. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe divorce is the best way. Yesterday, I was thinking, what a rotten waste of four years. Four years of getting used to instant coffee and the way she cracks her chewing gum. So I decided, well, she wants a kid. She wants the whole settle-down routine. And I figured I wasn't ready for that. And I looked around that empty apartment, and all of a sudden, I'm ready for it, Liz. I really am. It's not just that. All right, give me the whole catalog. Eddie, thank you for wanting to try again. But I've thought of all those solutions. And others. And I, I always seem to come up with the same answer. A new start. Oh, help me in that, Eddie. Let me go. Suddenly the lack of sleep has hit me. There's a plane out of Reno at noon. I suppose I can borrow a room up there and shave off some of this kelp. You tell your lawyer you can have anything you want, honey. 